Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Calamity playthrough. In the previous episode we did stuff and yeah, we've got a Nightmare pickaxe and Shadow Helmet. So yeah, in the Eater of Worlds basically got his butt kicked and uh, yeah, I wasn't wasn't actually that difficult to be honest. I mean, we've discovered some pretty awesome things as well in that we have a massive tree that leads directly down into the corruption chasms here, which is quite different to say the very least. But in today's episode, my friends, we are going to the underground uh, desert in uh, search of some, uh, some you know, sturdy fossils and all that kind of stuff. So what we need to do is head over in uh, this direction, if we can, that is. And uh, yeah, we're hoping to get ourselves a bunch of uh, desert fossils, sturdy fossils, whatever they may be called. We could also start grabbing ourselves some area light ore if we so wish and well Yeah, I think I might actually start doing that in a bit, but uh, yeah, let me just remind myself I can there we go desert fossil I can indeed mine this stuff up So you guys were saying that desert fossils have a higher chance of giving you amber So I don't know. I'm kind of gonna go with that I'm gonna go with that theory and uh, we'll see what actually happens. So here we go. We're just going to go ahead and try and grab as much as we can here. No idea how much we're actually going to wind up getting from this. So here we go. 15. Uh, we've got 37 at the moment. Very nice. So the more we get, the better things are going to be. So let's go ahead and continue on with this. Ow! Why you do this? That's so rude. Oh, jeez. All of this might actually wind up killing me. Hold on. Ah! Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, jeez, man. None of this guy's freaking coming along. Hey, get out of here, brother. Come on, get off, get off me, get off me, go away, thank you very much, alright, there we go, alright, now we can continue on getting all this stuff here, thank you very much, okay, so, uh, 63, decent amount, let's go ahead and see what we can get out of an extractor data, okay, here we go, so, sturdy fossils, very nice, uh, no sign of amber just yet, uh, oh, there's one, got one bit of amber, very, very nice, Hey, there we go. We're starting to get there slowly but surely, guys. The sturdy fossils are part of a recipe for something as well, aren't they? Uh, yeah, amber staff. So we need 15 of them. And we have 15. Okay, so we don't actually need to get any more sturdy fossils. Fantastic. So all we need to do is grab ourselves some, uh, some what is it called? Some amber. Yeah. So we have two out of, what is it, seven? I think it's seven, isn't it? We need seven. Seven? Seven? Uh, eight. Okay, so we need eight. Gosh darn it, I thought I was doing pretty well. God diggity damn, dude. Alright, so while we're doing all of this, we can also try and farm out some storm lions so we can maybe try to defeat the desert scourge at some point. I think that would be a very, very nice idea. So, yes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start mining some of this stuff up. There we go, area light. Now, I'm not going to mine the bits that are going to make the desert cascade because I think that would look rather ugly on my world, so that's why I'm not doing it. Uh... God damn it, I'm gonna have to somehow make my way over there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to deface the entire desert just to get over there. Ah, Man, I hate doing that. I hate doing that. I hate defacing the desert. Oh jeez! Hey buddy! Hey! Hi! Hi hi! Hi hi hi! How you doing? How you doing there? Right. Okay, let's see how this does. Whoa! That is some serious speed! Jesus! Oh my god! Wow! I keep forgetting that the shadow armor gives you increased melee stats, yes? Uh, increase, yeah, increased melee speed and also increased movement speed. Wow. That's craziness. You can just windmill these guys. Hello. Oh, why are you even trying, bro? <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love these things. The mandible claws. Unfortunately, they are not a material, so they can't be upgraded. As far as I know, anyway, so, yeah. Oh, my goodness. These guys are just getting absolutely destroyed, bro. Hey, look at these guys. Come on, man. You want to go? Get destroyed. Run. You as well. Oh, no. Get destroyed. Get destroyed. <laughs> oh, my God. The mandible claws, ladies and gentlemen. That is quite something. Hey, buddy. Hi. Go on. Get destroyed. <laughs> oh, my God. This is craziness. Dude, this weapon is ridiculous. I love it. I love it so much. Wow. Okay, so like I said, anything outside of extremely close range, and you're probably in trouble with that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we're doing pretty well with it. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty guys, so we are going to go on a bit of a storm lion slash desert fossil mining thingy montage thing. And if I manage to find something cool, or we manage to get storm lion, then I'll bring you guys back. Hey man, it's not exactly desert fossils or a storm lion, but... Uh, you know, finding an underground house with a chest inside it is always appreciated. Go on, get wrecked. <laughs> Ooh, a coin portal. 
Come on, buddy. Hey, it's a 15 gold portal. Cool, there. 15 gold coin portal. God, try and say that 10 times over very fast. It's difficult, man. There we go. Got another extractinator. We are extractinator rich, guys. This is ridiculous. Hey, man, might as well go ahead and do all this stuff while I'm here. <laughs> okay, so one, uh, one amber. Okay, pretty cool. And that's all we get, unfortunately. Is this thing a... Uh, uh, Huh, okay. No, unfortunately, it's not a material for anything, so... Eh, don't matter too much. Right, anyways, let's continue on. I imagine we're gonna find so Oh, hello, man! Hello, hello! Hey there, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? My name's Python. I'm gonna kill you today. Thank you. Alright, brilliant. So, uh, can I, like, open this? Boom. There we go. Yet another extractinator and a band of regen. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's very nice. And also, some desert fossils way over here. Fantastic! Hey, man, we're doing good so far in terms of loot. Ha! <laughs> awesome. Hey, again, not quite a desert fossil or an underground house or a storm lion, but, you know, we'll still take a life crystal any day. Look at that. Hey, got to have some more area light as well. Huh, might as well grab some more. Oh, I see you. I see you there, buddy. Come on, get wrecked by the mandible claws. Aha, there we go. That's exactly what I need. Uh, oh, darn it. I ain't got any space. Right, there we go. Stormline Mandible. Fantastic. But right, I want to try and get myself a few of those so I can maybe make a few Desert Scourge Summoners. And then we should be good to go in terms of taking him down. Uh, last time I took him down with the Firestorm Cannon. Now, unfortunately, I think I made the same mistake as that I made before in that uh, I left the Flare Gun in the Recipe Browser thing. And that means that I lose it upon uh, Blumen quitting out the world, which kind of sucks. I really do wish they uh, made it. So as soon as you get out of the recipe browser, anything that's within it automatically goes back in your inventory, you know? So, you know, uh, mod developers, if you're watching this, then if you could make that a feature, that'd be cool. Oh, an amber crawler! Oh, I didn't even know they existed. Okay. That's kind of awesome. Hey, buddy, I've got to find him. I've got to find him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He disappeared. Oh, he's down there. I see you. I see you there, buddy. i got to get him because he might be able to give me all of the amber that I need without even having to extract that would be cool. Right, okay, so let's just make our way over here, and he will feel the wrath of my mandible claws. Ha! Oh my goodness. Get destroyed! There we go. Uh, three. So we now have a grand total of five out of eight. Darn it. Okay, we've still got a little bit to go, folks, but, uh, no worries. We'll continue on. Ooh, look at this! It's like a storm lion pit. Ha! <laughs> look at these guys. Hey, buddies. Oh, look at all you guys. Go oh, on, every single one of you get destroyed. Go on, every single one of you. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just windmilling all these guys. This is hilarious. Holy crap. <laughs> so many oh, jeez. And I got killed. Oh, my goodness me. He just... Guys, I think that is what we call in the trade a mandible bow. Wait, what the hell? I've never seen that before. Yeah, I've got to get back there real quick. I've got to see what that is. I uh, That is a facepalm moment right there. Um, let's just forget that ever happened, okay? We'll move on with our lives. You guys saw nothing. You saw nothing, Jon Snow. You saw nothing. You saw nothing! Okay, you saw nothing. Nothing was done. Nothing, nothing stupid happened, okay? Nothing at all. What the hell? Knidrion? What is that? I've never seen that before. That looks scary as hell, bro. Oh man, talking of scary as hell, there's a there's a bunch of things. What the hell? I gotta I gotta try and defeat that guy. I wonder if he gives me anything. I wonder if that's like part of one of the Thorium not Thorium? Not Thorium. Calamity. I wonder if that's one of the uh, th uh, calamity updates. Because I've never seen that before. Like legit. Huh. Okay. Right, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take all these guys out of the game real quick. Oh there it is! I see it, the, the mandible bow to my top left there. I want to try and get that real quick. Uh, right, that guy can get killed. This guy can also get killed. There we go. All right. Oh, man. Oh, do I, Should I take this guy down first? Because I've got a sneaky feeling he might try and despawn on me if I try to do anything. Right. Oh, my goodness me. Look at this guy. Can I, like, just do this? Oh. Well, this is easy. <laughs> I'm just windmilling him. <laughs> oh, this is awesome, bro. Holy crap, I've never seen this guy before. I've watched other people's playthroughs and I never saw this guy. Maybe he's brand new. Hey, you dare touch me, sir? Go on, get destroyed. Go on, there you go, there you go. And boom, dead. All right. Oh, what? Oh, and, and a heart and a, oh, crystal for my troubles. Wow. What the hell? A whole bunch of... Did he give me victory shots? I think he did, you know. 
Right, that's that's pretty badass. Right, I need to pick all this stuff up because that was like victory shards and crap in there. Right, le the lesser valuable ones could go away. So, tin, you can go away. Uh, yeah, victory shard, yeah, down there. Okay, fantastic. Uh, platinum ore, we'll get rid of the sand blocks and then we'll go up here. Let's grab this bad boy and then we'll be good. There we go, okay. That's awesome! There's like a tiny little mini boss in the game. That is so cool. Right, now then, let's actually get to the main business in hand. Let's see what that mandible, mandible bow is like. Oh, we only got three gold back. God damn it, so someone took 17 gold and ran away with it. You son of a goon. Right, anyways, uh, tungsten, you can go away. Mandible bow. Ooh. Unfortunately, it's not fully auto. It does one less damage than my other stuff does. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Does matter too much. I guess we can go ahead and uh, quick stack the money in there. Uh, can I, like, do anything here? Yeah, we can. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, we need ourselves, like, a chest or something, like an additional one. All right, here we go. Let's put this one down here, and maybe I could just chuck all this generic crap in here. So, desert fossils, mandible bow, area light ore. We need to see what we can do with that real quick. Uh, let's grab these and put them on our person. Uh, diamonds, uh, you can go away in the valuables chest up here. How many, how much amber do we have now? Seven. Oh man, okay, so we need just the one more. One more. Okay, that is all we need. Right, let's grab out the sturdy fossils. Let's go over to the extractinator. Meanwhile, the nurse is having a bit of a freak out. <laughs> oh, what is up with that gal, man? Oh, there's two of them in there. Oh, jeez. Alright, now oh, there we go. Eight amber. Fantastic. Alright, might as well go until we run out of this stuff here. Uh, who knows, we might even get the Amber Mesquite. What? A Platinum Coin? What? Dude, isn't that like a 0 .00 ridiculously low percent chance of getting that? Holy crap! We just got a goddamn Platinum Coin from that! That's incredible! Holy, that is, that is really quite something. I never would have thought in my wildest dreams we would have got that. A platinum coin. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is incredible. Wow. Okay, so that is, that is quite something, huh? All right, so Amber Staff. There we go. There's another material for the for the thing we're trying to make, the Knight's Ray. So all we need now is some true shadow scales and a magic missile. Okay, fantastic. In the meantime, ooh, very nice. It uses seven mana, so actually we don't really have a lot of stuff to do with it. So I'm just going to put it away in there, and uh, all the rest of the stuff can go away in the chest, I guess. All right, so... Uh, hmm. So we managed to get some good stuff there. That's really quite something. All right, so we got ourselves some uh, area light. Let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so only area light bars. That is fine and dandy. Let's go and make some. Four. Four bird bar. Okay, cool. Right, what can we do with this? Air spinner. Oh, wow. We can make an air spinner. We need a sky mill. Look at all this stuff. Trade winds. The wind blade. Wow, that is incredible. Harpy ring. Increased movement speed. Sky fringe pickaxe. 95% pickaxe power. This stuff looks amazing. Plus 20 max mana and plus 1 max minion. 8% to increase all damage. Angel treads. Oh my lord, that, is, that looks insane. Uh, Skyline wings. You can get pre-hard mode wings? That is sweet. Dude, I've got to totally try and get those. Oh, mate, that might be an episode end goal right there, actually. Right, do we have a, do we have a grab potion by any chance? If we have grab potions, we could actually maybe try to find ourselves a sky island. If not, then there are some ye olde methods of trying to find them. In that, uh, if we get some meteor shots... Now, as far as I know, we do have a meteorite somewhere in this world. Because I remember there being a message saying so. Right, uh, oh, hang on. Uh, let's grab these back out. So, we need fallen stars and some feathers. That should be a pretty simple thing to do. So, what we need to do is we need to head out. We need to try and find a meteorite. Try and dig up as much as we can. Make ourselves some meteor shots. And then, from there, we'll be able to find out where Sky Islands are. Because, of course, when we shoot up, the meteor shots will bounce back down. And then, yeah, that's the ye olde way of doing it. So, if we ever shoot up and then the bullets bounce back down, that means we find ourselves a Sky Island, okay? So, yeah, that's pretty darn cool. In the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, pick up some more aerial light and all sorts of other stuff. And then we'll carry on. Well, hello there, sleeping angler. Oh, what the heck? Yo, this freaking ocean. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got some sharks here. We've got some battles going on here, folks. 
Go on, get wrecked. My mandible claws will take you so far out of the game, you won't even believe it, bro. Go on, give me a diving helmet. One of you, go on, do it, do it, do it. Go on, diving helmet. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, they got the angler here, but I'm not entirely sure he's going to be living all that long because this place is going to become corrupted later down the line, I think so. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't have any other places for him to live, so, I mean, that kind of sucks, right? Ugh, gosh darn it. All right, let's continue looking for the meteorite. Hey, here it is, guys, and as well as finding that, we've also got ourselves five fallen stars. Right, now then, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and start exploding this bad boy. Oh, get wrecked, at media. <laughs> oh, the more we get, the better, so we're just gonna keep blowing it up, I guess. So, yeah, that's all we're gonna do. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of guys. Hey, buddy, get wrecked. All of you, go on, get destroyed. Hey, thank you for giving me meteorite, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, go on, get destroyed. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Alright, uh, I don't imagine we're going to be needing too, too much. Uh, obviously, we need to be careful. We don't have Obsidian Skull, so, you know, we could actually die from doing all this crap. Hey. Oh, damn son. Okay, I could die from this. Oh, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't. Me to my head, all of you, go on, get out of it. Every single one of you, go on, get wrecked. There you go, okay, sweet. Right, we're going to grab all this meteorite, we're going to head back to base, make some bullets, and then we're going to hunt for Sky Islands. I really want those wings, you have no idea. What? Check it out, guys, the Meteor Fist. 15 melee damage, average speed, average knockback. It kind of looks like the uh, the fire gauntlet texture, just with sort of meteorite colours. I have never seen this before. What? Oh my goodness. We have got ourselves something awesome here, folks. Wow! That is so cool! <laughs> I wonder if they're little fire bits. Like, the fire that comes off it. I wonder if that sets people on fire. Dude, that'd be amazing if it did. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get on with uh, trying to find ourselves a Sky Island, huh? So, yep, there we go. All you gotta do is shoot up. Shoot directly up, and if any bullets come back down, then you got yourself a Sky Island. So, what we gotta do is do this for, like, the entire world until we come across one, I guess. So, yeah. Alright, guys, let's keep going until we find a Sky Island. Oh, guys, they're starting to rebound. We've got something going. Oh, my goodness. Good lord above that weapon is good. Okay, so, uh, we have ourselves a Sky Island above here. We've got ourselves a heck ton of ropes. Whether it's gonna be enough to get us up there is another matter. Let's just go ahead and put some of that down. And, yeah, all we gotta do now is make our way up, folks. We're just gonna go ahead and do this, because this is the best way of doing it. Oh, look at that. Looks like two loads of damage at the same time to him. <laughs> oh, my God. Meteor Fist. Amazing. All right, let's get up to this Sky Island, huh? And here we go, folks. The Sky Island has been discovered, and yes, it is a proper one. Awesome. Okay, that's exactly what we need. Is there gonna be a Sky Mill within this? That is the question. Hey, buddy, go on, get destroyed. Dude, this Meteor Fist is so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so good. Alright, well, we need five feathers. Uh, anything else is really a bonus, to be honest, so, yeah. Alright, so let's go over here. Sky Mill. Uh, no, we've got a shiny red balloon, though. That's kind of nice. I mean, no complaints about that whatsoever. I'm gonna put that on, actually. Uh, what should we replace? Lava Charm? Seems like a good idea. Alright, so, yeah, what we've got to do is uh, kill a bunch of these dudes now. We only need five feathers and then we'll be good to go. Right, so, uh, what the hell? Sky Glaze? No way did I... What is the chances? What are the chances? Like, I legit don't know. What are the chances of getting that? I don't know. I've got to see what that is in just a sec. Like, dudes, we are getting so many weapons today. It's amazing. Not only that, but today we're also going to get ourselves some wings. <laughs> Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Alright, how many feathers do we have? Uh, four. So if you drop one, you'll be the last one I need to kill. Uh, oh no, I need a sky mill, of course, as well. Dang it! Oh man, uh, is it like a... There's a way of making a sky mill, isn't there? Isn't it, it just requires like some plate blocks or something like that. Uh, sky mill? Sky mill, there's a way of crafting it. Yep, there it is. Clouds and rain clouds. Oh, that's really easy, actually. Huh. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to go get the materials for that, and then I'll meet you guys back. Ah, still no feather from that guy. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'll meet you guys back at base once we're ready to make the Sky Mill, and then go from there. All right, guys, and here we are back in action. We should now be able to do everything that we need to do. So, Skyline Wings. Wait, I thought it said we needed a, a Sky Mill to do that. Apparently, we can make it straight away. Skyline Wings. Ah, oh, interesting. Right, let's make the Sky Mill anyway, because we're going to need it for, like, other stuff as well. Uh, let's get you placed uh, down here. There we go. Okay, so what can we make? Uh, feather knives, air spinner, harpy ring. Ooh, air spinner. Ooh, 
Ooh, a new yo-yo. Awesome. I'll take a yo-yo any day. That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, it's not a material though, which is unfortunate. This thing here though, the harpy ring is a material on the other hand. So yeah, what's this? Uh, some plate block. Oh, that's how you make them. Is that a vanilla thing? Huh. I don't know. Right, let's make it anyway. Let us see what you can do. Angel treads. Ah, okay. So that's used in that. Okay, fair enough. So it just increase, increases movement speed, I guess. I'm not entirely sure by how much. Uh... Uh, not not by a lot, but it's moderately noticeable. And of course, the main article itself. Wait, I can't make him. Why? Why can't I not make him? Why? 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 Five stars, five feathers. Did I use? Oh god damn it! I need. To, I used the feathers in something else, didn't I? I used it in the ring. The ring. I bet it was the ring. Yep, there we go. Feathers. God dang it, man! All right, well we we're going back to the, uh, the we're going back to the skyline then. What? Giant harpy feather? Pre-hard mode? I didn't even know you could get that pre-hard mode. Is that a vanilla thing as well? What the hell? And here we go, guys. Let's actually get this thing done. Let's get ourselves some skyline wings. Hasty. Nice one. So increased movement speed. Very nice. All right. So let's give these things a go. I mean... No, I don't know. Not too bad. Let's get rid of the double jump. Uh, so we can actually... Do you know what? They're pre-hard mode. So I actually kind of expected them to not be that good. But it gives me a decent amount of jumping speed. And as far as I know, it should also get rid of all of my... Uh, all of my... All damage? Does it? I think so. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Okay, so let's go up and fall. Whee! Okay, yeah, that definitely negates full damage. Amazing. Alrighty, guys. Well, anyways, on that epic note, it is going to be time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Let's give this thing a quick go. The Sky Glaze fires feathers from the sky that stick to enemies, the tiles, and tiles, and explode. What? That's amazing. It's almost like a pre harmo Daedalus Stormbow, even though it's a mage weapon. That's amazing. <laughs> All right, I think we're going to need to try and get our mage side of things up, huh? Because, uh, yeah, we only have, like, a few bits of mana. Not a lot. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to drop a like rating. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And that'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you guys next time.